for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Well, welcome back to our videos on CSS navigation. And in this video, we're going to pick up where we left off in creating the horizontal tab navigation. And what I want to show you in this video is how to round the corners using CSS3. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see my tab navigation here, and if I click on my source code, you'll see this is just a simple unordered list. And again, we have a video that shows you how to build the navigation here. Right now, what we want to do is just round those corners off. Now, there are quite a few commands in CSS3 that uh, are used around corners. You can either use the border radius command to round the entire object, or you can specify which corner you wish to round. And since we want to round the top left and top right, we're going to specify those. Now, you actually need to put in a different CSS statement to support uh, Mozilla Firefox type browsers and another statement to support um, WebKit browsers. So we're going to put both of those in. And obviously, we're going to put those commands on the same style that we place the border on. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and click right there. And I'm actually going to move this over a little bit there so we have a little bit more room to type. And I'm going to go ahead um, and begin by typing a dash there and then WebKit. And that's going to bring up a list of the WebKit CSS3 style. And I want to go ahead and do the top left border radius. So that's the style that I've selected, WebKit, border, top left radius. And I'm going to go ahead and make the radius on these five pixels. And you might need to experiment around with that to find out what exactly you want. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the top Oops, I selected top left again. I'm just going to type in right there. And I'm also going to make that 5 pixels. And I will save that. And you're going to notice some difference over here. But when I click over there, there are my rounded corners. And if you can't see that too terribly well, I'm going to go ahead and make that a little bit larger. We'll go ahead and make it 7 pixels. And save it. And there, they're a little bit more round. Now, if I go ahead and preview this in something like Google Chrome, you're going to see that I get the rounded corners. Same thing with Safari. It might take Safari just a second to load up here. And there I go. There are my rounded corners in Safari. But if I come here to Firefox, Yet it might take just a second for Firefox to load and come up. In Firefox, you're going to see that the icons don't appear. There we go. So to correct that, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to oops, click there, and I'm going to go ahead and put the Mozilla statement in. And I want to go ahead and do Mozilla border radius, top left. And I'm going to go ahead and do 7 pixels. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same item here. Border radius, scroll down a little bit, do top right. You will notice there is a little difference here between uh, the way they're supported. Yeah, there's a dash between the locations here there is not down here. And the word radius is in a different location. So we need to have both of those in there. And again, I'll click over here, save this. And then I'm going to bring Firefox up again. And when I refresh, you'll see there I have my rounded corners. So that's how you do rounded corners with CSS3. 
Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.